Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to create categories and subcategories on your WordPress blog. My name is Theo MacArthur, I've been blogging for 20 years and teaching blogging for around 5 years. Ok, let's do it! Alright, there are two ways that you can add categories to your WordPress blog. The first way is to go over to the menu on the left and under posts select categories. Now right here you can add a category simply by giving it a name and as you can see here there are already a number of categories on this blog so I'll add a new one here for demonstration purposes. The slug, this is simply the part of the URL that comes after the main domain name. You don't need to fill that in because it will automatically generate. Now if I want this category to be a subcategory. So for example, if we look here, I've got two subcategories, frogs and newts, under the main category of amphibians. So if this was to become a subcategory, I would choose the parent category here. So let's make this demonstration category a subcategory of another demonstration category I'd already set up for a different video. So let's make it a subcategory of that. Choose the parent category, demo category, add new category. And there we are, we have the category I've just created, demonstration, as a subcategory for the category demo category. You can also give your category a description. So if I want to edit this category, clicking on edit and now here I can enter a description. Now that's the first way to create categories. The second way to create categories is to create them as you add the posts. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to go over to all posts and select one of these posts to show you how it works. Clicking on edit and in the menu here on the right hand side under categories this post has already been added to two categories and you can add posts to more than one category and when you do that you can choose the primary category so I've added this post to gardens and hedgehogs two different categories but I've selected hedgehogs as the primary category but let's say that I've just created this post I haven't added it to any categories yet and as yet I don't have any categories created that I want to add this post to. In that case I will select add new category, give the new category a name, decide if the new category is going to be a main category or is it going to be a subcategory. If it's going to be a subcategory I can select from here a category to be the main category. In this case I'm going to leave it as a main category, add new category and there it is. If I wanted to remove this post from any categories here I could do so. However, once a post has been published on your blog I don't advise that you remove it from any of the categories that it has already been added to but it is okay to create new categories and add a post to extra categories even after it's been published. One more thing I want to point out here. There's a category here called uncategorized. That is a default category, a default WordPress category. You cannot delete it and the reason we have this category uncategorized if you add a post and forget to add it to a category, it will automatically fall into the uncategorized category and that's why it's there. It's like a safety net because every post has to be in a category. But providing you remember to always add your post to a relevant category or create a new category to add the post to, providing you do that, the uncategorized category will not show anywhere on your blog. Okay, I'll see you in another video.